Hey everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you something really special. That is how you can automate your strategies using indicators on Fintarget. So you might be one of those traders who will be doing level based trading based on charts. So you want Nifty to break an important support or resistance before you enter the trade. Or you might also be using a single indicator, something like RSI, something like moving average, something like VWAP or you might also be using multiple indicators. So multiple indicators is basically something like moving average crossover or any other conditions where two or three indicators have to meet and give you a signal to buy. So today I'm going to show you how you can create strategies and automate it completely based on any one of these, either level based automation or single indicator based automation or multiple indicator based automation. So to automate your trades, so you will need an account in Fintarget, which is absolutely free to open. So I have attached the link in the description. Make sure you click on the link and open your free Fintarget account. So you don't have to pay anything to start using Fintarget. And along with that, you will also need TradingView premium subscription to generate alerts. So now I'll be showing you how you can link both of them together. Hey everyone, today in this video, we are going to learn about how to automate our strategies using Fintarget and TradingView. So when we talk about automation, so there are broadly three types. One is a level based automation. Second one is single indicator based automation. And third one is multiple indicator based automation. So what is level based automation? Let us try to understand. So for example, uh, if we take five minute chart of Nifty, so you can see that currently uh, Nifty is more or less consolidating for the last say two to three hours and you might want to buy a call option or you might want to say go bullish on Nifty if Nifty is crossing let us say 25,030. So above this particular level you want to go bullish. So this is called as level based automation. So you want to trigger a particular strategy only if market is crossing a particular level. So be it on five minute chart, you can set your level based triggers on two hour chart, one day chart, one week chart. So anything of your choice, but broadly the idea is whenever market is going to cross a particular level, you want to trigger a strategy. So in this case, I will set up a very simple strategy where I want to create a bullish spread. So or a bull call spread whenever market is going to cross 25,030. So how do I do that? To do that, you can simply come to Fintarget, which is a free to use automation platform. So I have attached the link in the description. So you can just open a free account and start trying out automation. So once you have come to Fintarget, you can simply go to the strategy section and create a new strategy. So I'll name this strategy as bull call spread and I will trigger it immediately after the level is breached. So let me put the trigger as immediate. So next, to create a simple bull call spread, I will buy a ATM call option and I will go 100 points away and sell another call option. So I am simply creating a basic bull call spread. So again, I would want you to know about the risks associated with any trade you are taking. So these are not trade recommendations. So I'm just showing you how you can automate your trade. So I will not be having any stop loss or target and I will just save this particular strategy and deploy it. So I have now ended up saving a simple bull call spread strategy, but I want to run this strategy only if market is going to cross the level of 25,030. So how do I do that? So you can come to Fintarget and you can go to something known as signals. So signals is going to help us connect Fintarget with TradingView. So once we connect Fintarget and TradingView, so anything that gets triggered on TradingView will be heard by Fintarget and it will be taking the trade. So how do I start? I can simply create a signal. Then it will ask, so start listening to signals from which particular platform I will choose TradingView. Then I have to choose a strategy to associate my signal. So the strategy that I have created and deployed is bull call spread. So let me choose this particular strategy. So then where do I want to execute it? I want to execute it in my broker, which is QA0000. So that is my account ID. Then I can give a name for this alert. 
So I will just name this as uh, level based trading. So you can name it anything of your choice. Right? So I have named this as level based trading and I will save it. So then you can see pin target will show us some instructions to do. So let us do it one by one. So initially we have to go to trading view and try to create an alert. To create an alert, you can simply click on the clock right over here or you can also press on Alt A. So once I have clicked over here, so you can see something known as symbol. So symbol is nifty. Then we have condition that is price, right? So nifty's price crossing up. So here once I click on this drop down, I have multiple lists. So here I have to choose crossing up. I want nifty to cross above a particular level. So I will choose crossing up and the value is 25,030. So what I have done here is whenever nifty is going to cross above 25,030, this particular alert is going to get triggered. So now the issue is how do I actually make it connected with FinTarget so this alert can be actually heard by FinTarget. So for that, what we are going to do is you can see it says copy the JSON block and paste it under message section. So for me to do that, I can simply press on copy and here under alert, there is something called as the message section. So let me paste this in the message section and next I will click on I have pasted. Then it says copy the entry webhook URL from below and paste it in the notifications section. So let me copy this and go to the notifications and here under webhook URL, let me end up pasting this. So now I will create my alert. So once I have created the alert, I can click I have pasted and I can click on start listening. So in case if you want to add some exit criteria, you can add that as well. But once I have clicked on start listening, so you can see in the home screen, my strategy is now activated. Under the execution tab, there is something called as stop listening. That means Fin target is now continuously waiting for the alert from trading view. And as soon as the alert is triggered, it is going to execute the strategy in this particular broker. So this way we can automate any kind of strategy we want, either based on level or any kind of indicator. So before we learn how exactly we can do any kind of indicator based automation. So I would like to tell you about learning path, which is quick alphas flagship program about automation. So we'll be teaching you how to automate your equity strategies, how to automate your option strategies. So this would be a very personalized session which we'll be offering. And in case if you're interested to learn, you can simply click on the link in the description below and register yourself. So the June batch is already full. So we have only one or two slots left in July batch and we will be only taking five people per batch. So in case if you want to start automating your option strategies, if you want to start automating your future strategies, equities, so we will be helping you build a systematic approach to learning options and equities. So along with that, so you might have already heard about First Talk. First Talk has recently launched the latest mobile and web trading app. So it has all the features like strategy builder, screener, your investment analysis, your portfolio analysis and much more. So in case if you don't have a First Talk account, you can simply open an account by clicking on the link in the description and you will also receive free access to FinTarget. So Click on the link and you will be also eligible for a lot of exciting offers and start using First Talk and you can literally see the way how your trading changes. So with this, now let's quickly move on to the indicator based trading. So with this, now we are done with the level based trading. So now I'll also show you the second part, which is single indicator based automation. So a single indicator based automation can be something like your moving average can be something like your RSI, Bollinger Band or anything of that sort. So I'll be showing you how you can automate your strategy based on a single indicator. So again, to do that, let me come back to trading view, right? So let me add a simple indicator. In this case, I will add the indicator of RSI. So right over here, I have added the RSI indicator and what I want to do is whenever RSI is coming below 30 
I want to enter a bullish trade, a simple RSI based indicator, right? So again, I want you to know the risk associated with it before you actually automate this trade. So how do we do that? It is fairly simple. So let me create another strategy right over here and let me name this as uh, call buy. So I'll simply try to buy a ATM put option and place a 10 point target and a 10 point stop loss. A very simple strategy and I want this to trigger only when the RSI falls below 30. So I have saved the strategy and I will also deploy the strategy. Let's create one more alert to trigger the call by strategy whenever the RSI is going below 30. To do that, again, let's create signal. So I will give it a name as RSI below 30 for my reference. I'll save this. And when are we going to trigger this? It is going to get triggered only when the RSI comes below 30. So let us set it up. I will select the indicator and click on alert. Again, the tab pops up, but here I am going to choose the symbol as Nifty. But under condition, instead of price, I am going to choose RSI. So in RSI, we are going to have further options. And what I am going to do is I am going to choose crossing down. So whenever RSI is actually coming down, so I am going to put the value as 30. So whenever RSI is coming below 30, I want to trigger this signal. So now it's time to link FinTarget and TradingView. I'll copy this JSON block, go to message and paste it right over here. So I'll copy the webhook URL. I'll come to the TradingView notification section and paste it right over here. So let me save this and my alert is now created. So I have pasted and start listening. So once I have clicked on start listening, you can see my second strategy is now deployed. Again, I have the button here to stop listening. So what this is going to do is whenever the RSI is coming below 30, it is going to enter a call option and place a 10 point target and a 10 point stop loss. So this way, as you can see, you can trigger based on level or you can also trigger based on a single indicator. So again, whatever I'm teaching you right over here, I would want you to backtest on your own and build a strategy on your own. These are no recommendation. So I also want you to be aware of the risk associated with building these systems, right? So next one, I'll be showing you how you can trigger a multiple indicator based strategy. So that would be the third one on our block. So we have already learned level based trading, single indicator, next is multiple indicator. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a moving average, a simple moving average. So let me add two moving averages where one period is nine moving average and the second would be say a 20 period moving average. So a fairly simple uh, indicator one. So right over here, I have added two indicators, which both are simple moving average. So one is a nine period simple moving average and one more is the 20 period simple moving average. So what I'm going to do next is I want to create a bearish spread whenever the nine period moving average, which is the blue line is cutting the 20 period moving average from the top. So whenever it is going to break down something similar to this, right? So let me write it. So whenever the short moving average is going to break down, right? So whenever it is breaking down, I want to trigger the entry. So for this example, let us create a simple bearish spread. So I'll name the strategy as bear spread. And to create a bear spread, I will sell nifty ATM call and I will be buying an OTM call. So I'll go 200 points away and I will buy a OTM call. So this one, again, I'm going to save it. I'm not going to add any target or stop loss for this. And let's deploy the strategy. Now it's time to link TradingView and FinTarget for which I'll create a signal, choose TradingView and choose my strategy bear spread, choose the account in which I want to execute, name this as MA crossover. Now it is time to go back and create an alert. 
So to create an alert, let's start by clicking on alert. Here the condition is not the price. Here Nifty is going to remain the same, but the condition is not the price, rather it is the SMA 9. So you can choose the SMA 9 and here the function is crossing down. So whenever SMA 9 is crossing below, instead of value, we are going to choose SMA 20. So what we have done here, the condition is whenever the 9 period simple moving average is crossing below or crossing down the 20 period moving average, I want to trigger the entry. So what do I do next is I have to come back, copy this, paste it in the message section and I want to copy this and paste it in the notification section. So with this I can simply click on create and I have created an alert and I will click I have pasted. So let us also add an exit condition here and I will name it as MA exit. So what is going to be my exit condition for which I'll create another alert. So the exit condition is whenever the 9 period moving average is crossing up the 20 period moving average. Fairly simple and straightforward. Again we have to add the message and the webhook URL. Let's quickly do that. And my webhook URL which I'm going to copy and paste it right over here. So I have now uh, created my exit condition also. Let me click on start listening. So you can see I have created three strategies. So all the three strategies are going to get triggered whenever TradingView sends them the alert. For my bear spread, I have also added the exit condition. So upon the exit condition being met, it will also end up closing the trades. So this way, you can see that today in this video, we have learned how to do level based automation, how to do single indicator based automation and multiple indicator based automation. So this need not be just on Nifty, you can do it on Sensex, you can do it even on individual options. So for example, I will go to options, choose Nifty 50. So in case if you want to take any trade in say 25,000 call, if 25,000 call is crossing above say 240 rupees or falling below a particular level, you can do that as well. So the steps are going to remain the same and I want you to start trying out Fintarget by simply logging into Fintarget.in. So in case if you don't know what to do, we also have some pre-built strategies which we have given on Fintarget. You can simply deploy them and try paper trading before you execute it in your real account. So you can come over here. Instead of the broker, you can change it to paper, which means you will be able to forward test the strategies before you execute it in the real account. So not just that, you can also add other things like your target stop loss, trailing stop loss journey, move stop loss to cost and multiple other features while you are creating the strategy itself. And as soon as the signal gets triggered, your entry is going to take place and the trade is going to take place automatically. So once it is listening, you don't even have to sit in front of the computer. You can just close your computer and whenever level is met, automatically the trade is going to get executed. So this way using Fintarget, you can create any strategy of your choice and link it with TradingView signals to generate alerts and start your automation journey. So I hope this video was useful and insightful. So you can quickly come to fintarget.in and create your free account and start using Fintarget today. There is also one more very important offer since you have stayed till the end. So if you go to any of these plans and purchase even the starter plan, right? So you will be getting two free paper trades or forward testing free for unlimited number of days. So just ensure that you buy any of these startup plan or pro plan or even a life plan and you will be eligible for this new offer. So with that, we also come to the end of this video. Don't forget to check out Quick Alpha's learning path or open your first account with Firstock. So expecting you guys to start your automation journey today with Fintarget.